So today uh, we'll be covering uh, Azure Active Directory uh, uh, basics for beginners. Currently, I've logged down to the uh, the subscription portal. Okay, so once you log on to the uh, your subscription, you can see all the uh, the components here, the workloads. Click on uh, Azure Active Directory. Okay, once you click on Azure Active Directory, it will list your default directory and it shows uh, it's in preview. You can ignore the, uh, the current uh, message. And if you look at under the overview, we have uh, users and groups. We have a quick task where you can click on, uh, where you can create a user, you can create a guest user, you can create a group, okay? And um, so if I click on add user, okay, so, it asks what is the name, the username, the profile, the properties, and you want to be part of, you want to add that particular user to which group, and directory role. Click on directory role. Which role you want to give, it's a global administrator, limited administrator, or normal user. And if you click on groups, it will ask which groups you want to, you want to be uh, part of the, uh, if you have any groups created currently, I, we don't have any groups, all right? And uh, if you click on properties, it's the, uh, yeah, the, the source of authority is Azure Active Directory here. So you can also uh, update the, the profile information here, okay? So this is how you will update the user. And similarly, uh, add a group, you want to create a group Okay, you want to create a group. So you can create a group and it can be part of uh, assigned or unassigned, All right? Okay, now uh, I'll go back to the, uh, the uh, so here we have enterprise applications where you can integrate your enterprise applications to the Azure Active Directory for authentication purposes. I click on enterprise applications. Currently, I, uh, currently uh, it says these are all, uh, uh, I mean, supported. If I click on new application, let's see what are the, what list it will. So there are uh, enterprise applications you can download from the marketplace of Azure and you can integrate with the uh, Azure Active Directory. For example, like uh, the box, right here in this case, box or Citrix go to meeting. Uh, Dropbox, Google Apps, uh, DocuSign, and so many, all right? So this is just an example. Similarly, you can also integrate your Office 365 Exchange Online and Office 365 SharePoint Online, Salesforce, whatever you want, okay, which is available under the market. So the, the total applications is 2,816. So you can have you can uh, check all the, the categories depending upon your business requirements and you can uh, integrate with your Azure Active Directory here, okay? All right, now I'll quickly go back. Now the next thing is the app registrations. Similarly, you can, you have any uh, new app, so you can also uh, uh, integrate your uh, app to your Azure Active Directory so that your, uh, just for, I mean, the use, user authentication, you can configure for the apps, okay? And similarly, if you have any application proxy, so this requires an additional license, so I'm not uh, uh, configuring anything, all right? I'll click on licensing part, so here it says, uh, it, it shows my license, so it, it says uh, I've got one license, all right? And I'll uh, click on all product, it says I have uh, one exchange online license assigned to the, uh, to my uh, Azure Active Directory, okay? And the Azure uh, AD Connect, you know, uh, you can, this is specifically used to sync with your on-prem uh, Active Directory. All right, so you need to download and install. You can download this one here and you can install. Currently it is not uh, uh, connected to, to my on-prem. It says uh, sync, not, sync state is not enabled. Last sync, never run, all right? All right, so uh, sometimes, you know, just for the business purpose, 
you want to integrate your you want to add your custom domain right so that uh, so the users you know you, you can authenticate themselves so this is where you'll add your custom domains click on domain name and um, it will ask for the let's say test.com add domain so if we click on add domain it, it will add however you need to uh, verify the domain in order to start using it all right so that is the second step so verify domain you have to add uh, the mx record on the uh, hosting uh, uh, with, uh, on, on the hosting side where you purchase that particular domain okay and then click on verify it will say is verified so currently it will be in unverified status unless and until you update the mx record in the hosting uh, hosting vendor side all right so once you add once click on verify it will show as a verified status all right it's currently i can currently if i'll go back here uh, test.com yeah i can delete this one all right so okay and uh, you can do a password reset and the company branding uh, people wants to have their own company logo whenever they log on to the uh, their uh, subscription or to their office 65 you here you can add your company uh, logo or picture or whatever your text and graphics so that user user uh, see when they sign in to azure active directory okay and click on user settings so um, this is where you configure how exactly your Azure Active Directory will be working. Users can allow apps to access the data, yes or no. And user can add uh, gallery, gallery apps to their access panel, yes or no. App registrations, external user uh, uh, rights and administration portal. Okay. And uh, click on properties, it will show all the uh, See the deep this other side you can rename to default directory to any any name you want all right so notification settings you will configure notification settings here you want a, a, a weekly status service notifications new feature availability product research contact email here okay something under security we have conditional access where you can give you know uh, a specific uh, where you can control the uh, the access because uh, the, the, because the corporate uh, uh, data is, it should be very uh, confidential when a kind of uh, compliance issues and if you look at the uh, risky uh, I look at the sign-ins I can see all the sign-ins here okay so currently uh, uh it, it it says uh, it's a, a trial feature all right and you have the audit logs and you can open a support ticket whenever you want so uh, let's quickly re recap what we learned under the overview we have uh, uh, the users and groups you can create a you can add a user you can add a group okay and um, Company branding, sync with uh, on-prem uh, server AD. All right, and uh, enterprise applications, app registrations, application uh, pr uh, proxy, Azure AD Connect, how to add your custom domain names, password reset, user settings, okay, and how to check the signings. So this is overall the, uh, the basics for uh, uh, Azure Active Directory, okay. So, uh, so stay tuned for more uh, 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 in depth uh, of Azure AD. We'll also check how Azure AD Connect will work in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a nice day.